Deep in South Africa's wild Kruger Park, a unique lion family struggles to survive. Two determined mothers, two playful male cubs, and two amazing white cubs. For the past year, these two special cats have been on a long journey. They've been tested every step of the way and already survived a lifetime of experiences. Dangerous encounters with other lions and hyenas, their first buffalo hunt, an attack by rogue males who want them dead. They have another tough year ahead before they can take care of themselves. Will they make it? South Africa's Kruger Park is a rich but fierce wilderness. Here, a mother's job is never easy. Keeping her offspring alive by keeping them fed and safe is what it's all about. For many, the only thing keeping them one step away from death is their mother. She will be alert to danger. She will guide them and pass on everything she knows. But some mothers and their young face unexpected challenges. One year ago, this lioness named Matimba gave birth to two extraordinary white cubs. Their names are Shinga and Ingani. Two sisters with a big future if they can survive. Their white coats stand out wherever they are. Until now, they've been on a great journey with their two male cousins and their mother, Kanya. Kanya is a playful lioness. This is the male cub's final year in the pride. When Kanya is ready to mate again, they'll be forced out. The mothers have done well. The cub's father and defender of the pride disappeared soon after they were born. The mothers move the cubs every day. Keeping this pride safe is Matimba's job, but she doesn't always see everything coming. Matimba is not hurt, but it's time to reassert some discipline. She keeps her focus on the mischievous cub, dominating him. This isn't play, it's a lesson to show who's boss. When Matimba gets too rough, Kanya lets her know. The little cub puts up a fight but he's outgunned. Order restored. It's time to go. Summer is coming to an end. Only a ribbon of forest along the river remains green. It's a magnet for thirsty wildlife. 
This river shows the richness of the Kruger wilderness. This is a perfect place for the white pride to rest and keep an eye out for prey. Nearby, a hyena has a surprise, a black mamba, one of the most venomous snakes in Africa. This snake gets its name from the velvet black color inside its mouth. But there's another danger here. One of the three lion brothers who've laid claim to this territory. They won't hesitate to hunt down hyenas and have already attacked the white pride once before. The pride can't see the big male nearby, but they can hear the hyenas alarm calls. Matimba checks it out. The thick reeds keep her hidden, but they prevent her from seeing the big male approaching. The wind is blowing in the wrong direction. She can't smell him. They are almost face to face when she spots him. Without his two brothers, the male chooses not to pursue. It's early morning. Something stops the pride on their way to a waterhole. The cubs are nervous. They can't see it, but they can sense it. They are also thirsty. They take the risk and move to the waterhole. The cubs are well ahead when suddenly they see what's here. Three young males. Not yet fully grown, but still dangerous. The mothers keep a close watch. Drinking done, it's time to rest. The pride chooses a spot far from the three males. But then a huge herd of thirsty buffalo approaches. The three males are already on their feet. The buffalo move in. Matimba watches from the side. The buffalo spot the three males. Just one aggressive bull sends them running.
the buffalo drive one threat away. But they don't see the other. They settle in, confident that they've banished the lions. Matimba has the advantage of surprise. Kanya comes from the other side. The cubs watch every move, ready to join their mothers when they attack. They bring down a large adult. Shinga, the little hunter, is right beside her mother. Their mothers let the youngsters take over. With feeding lions nearby, other animals are cautious. Only woodland kingfishers are content, now that they have their fishing hole back. A few hours later, the mothers are resting. The cubs are still feasting. But they're not alone. It's the three young males. They are hungry and they want a share of the meal. With the mothers resting, the cubs will pose no problem. A cub sounds the alarm. He's focused on the cub and doesn't see Kanya waiting for him. Matimba joins her. In confusion, Kanya bites her sister, allowing the male to escape. The mothers pursue them. And catch another one. Matimba keeps up the chase. She wants those intruders away from her family. The cubs are fascinated by the skirmish. They are learning that they must be ready for anything. By August, the dry winter transforms the bush. The grass dies back. Trees lose their leaves. All this opens up the landscape. An excellent time for young lions to have a hunting lesson.
The hunter must be patient, quiet, focused. In these conditions, a tawny colored lion can hide itself well. Not so a white lion. The kudu spots her and escapes. Lesson over. For the next three months, the White Pride makes this place their home. It's a good hunting spot. Every day, new groups of animals come to drink. Predators will be waiting for them. The pride is not yet aware that other hunters have arrived. The three lion brothers, the nomads who attacked the white pride once before. They came here to hunt, but now they have scent of the white pride. This is their opportunity to remove the cubs. Their roars announce their approach. The mothers are quick to move the cubs. They are closing in. Nothing can stop them except Kanya and Matimba. The mothers leave their cubs to ward off the coming attack. Still, the cubs follow. In minutes, they meet the first male. Their submissive posture diffuses the male's aggression until his brothers arrive. The mothers are not their target. The nomads want the cubs. If they kill them, it will bring their mothers back into Istras in just a few weeks. So the next litter will come sooner and be theirs. This is now a battle of wills. The mothers to save their cubs, the males to father their own. There is no reply to her calls. The mothers keep searching. right through the burning hot day. It's this mother's determination that gives them the edge over the males. They have more to lose. Finally, a response. 
The cubs are safe. The family has survived another attack. It's now November. New clouds usher in the wet season. The bush bursts back to life. The cubs are growing larger and stronger by the day. The white cubs more visible than ever. Their curiosity is growing too, especially when it comes to prey. Every new animal captures their attention, but one creature is a complete puzzle. The tortoise is well protected inside his hard shell. The cub has met his match. It's Shinga's turn. She can't help herself. No harm done. The tortoise just needs to get back on his feet and make a fast getaway. By December, the white cubs are 18 months old, the males 20 months. They're little lions now. Their play looks more like proper hunting. The pride has a giraffe kill, but their meal is attracting attention. Hyenas, an entire clan. Hyenas don't fear just two female lions or cubs, only adult males. They see the white pride is vulnerable, they move in. If they can remove the lions for just half an hour, they'll devour this entire giraffe. Inkani moves forward to confront them. They're everywhere. But the hyenas haven't met lions like Matimba before. Matimba drives them off. But they'll be back. For the next month, the hyenas are never far away, shadowing the pride, waiting for them to bring down prey, and then moving in. With every meal at stake, the pride has much to lose. But today, something's not.
the pride made it through the night. After escaping last night's attack, they now reaffirm their bonds. The mothers and white cubs are unharmed, but only one tawny male cub is participating. The other isn't responding. He is injured with a puncture wound on his side. One of the nomads got to him. He would normally be running alongside the others, full of energy. His mother, Kanya, is aware something is wrong. So too his brother. He only moves deeper into the bush. The instinct of a wounded animal to hide His brother turns to their mother and invites her to play. But for the first time, Kanya refuses. An hour later, the ill cub can no longer sit up. His conditions worsening. His brother encourages him, tries to get him up. Next, Shinga approaches. Now she's aware something's wrong. The cub is struggling. His mother is there. But there's nothing she can do. Still, his brother tries again. Ten minutes later, the poor cub has a painful seizure. And then, in just a few moments, He's gone. His family seem to know this is the end. They hold back, unsure. And then Matimba and Kanya approach. In some quiet way, they understand this tragedy to their family. Inkani moves in next. And finally, his brother his closest companion.
Kanya's cub was 20 months old when he died. Losing him is a profound blow. The cub's death comes with the onset of summer rains and a new cycle of life taking hold across Kruger. The rains allow a young rhino to enjoy a mud wallow. Warthogs feast on tender grasses. And giraffes, new leaves. None enjoy it more than newborn elephants. It's been two months since Kanya lost her cub. She's moved on with her surviving cub. Local rangers have named him Shikota, the survivor. He has grown much closer to the white cubs and is the perfect playmate. Every day presents new challenges to the white cubs. They started climbing trees six months ago, and they're still at it. Climbing is unusual for lions. Shinga has plenty more to learn. And Inkani isn't helping. Sometimes these cubs act more like leopards than lions. Shingas found a taller challenge. She's not as graceful as a leopard, but she's getting there. It's a triumph. Her white coat isn't the only extraordinary thing about this lion.
It's the wet season now, and the bush responds with a cloak of green. It's bursting with life. This is courtship time for one exciting bird, the red-crested Koran. Hunting in the thick summer bush poses a big challenge. But the cubs' long bouts of play have fine-tuned their senses. They are ready to hunt right beside their mothers. This hunt ends in failure, as most lion hunts do. Elsewhere, vultures are having better luck. Tearing into an old buffalo who died several days ago. These birds only have to share their meal rather than hunt for it. Sometimes there can be hundreds on a carcass. Latecomers must look for other opportunities. After their failed hunt earlier in the day, the White Sisters are hungry and pestering their mother to hunt again. Then something catches their eye. Vultures who've spotted a leopard with a fresh kill. A tall tree is the best place to keep it safe. The young lions have learned that where there are vultures, there is often an easy meal. The leopard escapes. The cubs spent their youth climbing trees. Now they have their reward. She is not as graceful as a leopard, but Shinga gets what she wants. Now it's Kanya's turn. It's not so simple for a full-grown adult. She can't climb like the cubs, but she can leap. After all that, her reward is one very thin leg. It's Shikota's turn. He now weighs as much as Kanya. Can he lift all that weight up the tree? He is as nimble as a leopard and gets a choice cut of the meal.
A giraffe doesn't see this every day. It's not clear who's more surprised. One more morsel for Kanya. This tree climbing skill will serve Shikota well. He won't have Matimba or Kanya to hunt for him when he leaves the pride. Stealing leopard kills could help him survive the hard times. It's now June, a special date for the White Pride. The cubs are two years old and almost fully grown. They have survived all the perils and all the challenges of growing up wild. They also have a new home range, far away from the nomads a place called Klasiri. It's rich in game. Plenty for hungry lions. They took down a buffalo in the night. But once again, hyenas are on to them. Matimba won't have it. Inkani is ready to take them on. One hyena she can handle. But a whole clan is a different kind of challenge. Inkani moves to confront them. She walks with confidence, just like her mother. No longer a cub. Right from the start, she takes charge, intimidating the hyenas. She scuffs the ground, claiming ownership of this territory, like her mother once showed her. The cub has grown into a fine lion. Inkani is so confident, she lays down. The hyenas take this for weakness and move forward. They're coming from all sides. Thirteen hyenas. She lets them come. And then it's her turn. The hyenas know this is not a lion they can get past. This confrontation shows that the cubs are now capable of fending for themselves, protecting their food, defending their pride.
At sundown, the hyenas are suddenly spooked and flee. It's a large male and is heading for the pride. Matimba moves to defend her family. This male is new, is not one of the nomads. He calls a greeting, not a threat. Matimba keeps up the aggressive defense, moves forward to intimidate him. He doesn't want a fight. Shinga is there to support her mother. Now the whole pride moves up front with Matimba. The hyenas don't waste any time. Time to get back to their meal before the hyenas devour it. Matimba seems to know this male is not like the others. So she returns to her pride. And the male follows her. They are still on high alert. But he isn't here to attack them. He's here to woo them. But first, he will feed. It will take some time before he wins their trust. But this pride now has a big adult male to help defend them. By the time Summer returns to Kruger, the new male has secured his place with the white pride. Kanya is the first lioness to mate. A new chapter is now beginning for the White Pride. Matimba and Kanya's new cubs will be arriving soon. Shikota will set out on his own. And Shinga and Nkani have a whole new life ahead of them. The first white lions to reach maturity here in over two decades. Their life so far has been remarkable. They began as scruffy little cubs and grew into fine young lions. For the past two years, they struggled to survive Kruger's fierce wilderness and the challenges of their white coats. But they have had two amazing lionesses looking out for them, teaching them everything they know. They have come through it all and are now strong and capable lions. White lions. Remarkable. Beautiful. Wild.